Hey, what's up guys? My name is John Spear. Today I'm going to be showing you how to troubleshoot a VFD. The current model we are using for this particular demonstration is a PowerFlex 523. Now, it is broken. So I'm just going to state that right out the front. I have it here for an example. It's something we demoed out. And to show you how I determined that it was bad, I thought I'd bring it in and show you guys. So VFD's variable frequency drives are a very unique piece of equipment that helps motors run at di different speeds and operations using, you know, computer generated information. So, very cool little product. So, to kind of explain it real quick, I've got this uh, astronomical um, diagram that we can kind of check out. Just to see how it works, because it'll make more sense when you're troubleshooting it, if you know how it works first, and then we can troubleshoot that. But if you don't know how it works, then makes it very hard to troubleshoot at that point. So basically you have power coming in. So ABC 122.77, whatever. It's gonna go into three different sections before it finally gets to the motor. So in a nutshell, a VFD changes a voltage from AC to DC, back to AC, and then goes to the motor. It smooths it out so all the voltages um, will be pretty much the exact same. So what we're gonna do here is, so the power is coming in, it hits the converter or a six pulse rectifier. This is the point where it changes it from AC to DC, boom, goes through there, hits a smoothing capacitor. So this is your wave coming in, okay? It's all ABC. Then it goes through the diodes, boom, get six pulse rectifier, hence six pulse, there you go goes through the smoothing capacitor, boom, smooths out the line. So there you go, so that's how you get it. And then it goes through these guys, which is gonna be your IGBT, which is Insulated Gates Bipolar Transmitter. Most people, you'll just hear it be called IGBT. That's normal. Goes through those guys, completes the process from AC to DC, back to AC, and now we're going to the motor. They, you'll notice that there's a set of T1, T2, and I didn't put it, but there's another one over here. So what that does is basically says, I have 120 coming in, I need 120 coming out. And if there's a huge difference, this thing will lock up completely and just go into ground fault mode. So that's how it works. So what we're gonna be testing, essentially, is gonna be this little sucker. Because there is, on these little guys, what you'll see is a set of everything that we're gonna be working on, right? So this is gonna be your power section, your power coming in and then your power coming out, hence the motor, hence this. Obviously, Alan Bradley is, you know, convenient in the sense that it is one of the upper echelon of VFDs. Therefore, you know, you get better quality stuff. So this one is easier to read than some brands, but ideally the whole thing is about the exact same. The process is the same, the theory is the same. Um, it might be single phase, so 
might be single phase A and B, and then three phase coming out. But regardless, the process for troubleshooting it is the exact same. What you are gonna need is a meter with an ohm setting. So that little guy right there. You know, the guy that rings out, that's the one you're gonna need. So we'll just kind of set that on there. Good to go. Should be reading OL. Always test it real quick, you know, make sure it works. So you just kind of tap it together. So there you go. So testing these little guys, it's very sensitive to which one that you put in, just so you guys know. Okay, so when I say you gotta put the red one in, you have to put the red one in. And I say put the black one in, you're gonna have to put the black one in or the negative or the positive but it is very specific to how you put on here. So let me just grab a, let's see, just a flatty, open this up a little bit. So the first one we're gonna be testing, you can barely probably see it, but this is DC negative, DC positive. So those are the two that we'll be messing with. And then these guys up here. So let's start off with, the the way to do it so if this is dc negative we're gonna put the positive in there i'm gonna tie it down so i can do this one-handed all right so there we go we'll grab our negative and then we're gonna start testing it now, all these numbers, so on this row right here, this, all three of these should be very similar. Okay. So we got 54.3, 54.07, Pretty normal. Now we'll go to the other side. These three are going to be the same but a different number so 37.7 37.7 7, 37.67 so all relatively close so now what we'll do and that's correct so that is the way it should be now if you put the negative on the negative so if you put the black on the negative, tie it down. Now what should happen, technically, is that you'll read OL on your meter for the whole top row. Now, letting you know right away this is going to be broken, so you're going to get numbers on it. You can tell they're all a little bit different now, but um, it is going right through our line diagram, which is gonna be, let's see, right here. So on the negative portion, you should be reading OL because you're going down. You know what I'm saying? So when you have this, it's going straight through. So this is all bad news. And I can tell you right off the bat, I kind of know what already happened. Because when I went to go troubleshoot it, I noticed, I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but all these little white dots when I took off this cap. So when I looked at it, I was just like, oh man, the sucker got wet. Fun Fun fact about VFDs is uh, they absolutely hate the wetness. Like, um, obviously there's a lot of electronics in here. You know, obviously there's a lot of stuff 
in there in general. So just the very fact that it got a little bit wet, you know, was a great indicator that this thing was going to let out some smoke and, you know, do that whole thing. So to recap real quick, that's how it looks inside. What we test is this. DC portion, negative, positive. If it's negative, you're gonna put the positive. You know, and then if you put the correct one in there, it should be OL um, when you're testing these guys. So that's the quick little how to troubleshoot to tell if it's wrong. So how to fix that situation is you're probably gonna have to get a new one, unfortunately. Um, however, you know, if you are electronically fucking savvy, you can jump in here and change out some of the diodes and do all that fun stuff. But, you know, it might just be easier just to get a new one, but depends on the situation. So, I hope you guys like this uh, quick little video, quick little recap on, you know, good old VFDs. I hope I explained it correctly. Um, if you have any comments, please let me know. Once again, my name is John Spear. I'm with Warhammer Electric, and, you know, you guys be safe out there, and hope you guys have a great day. Side note, Fluke, best meter in the world. Um... You know, they definitely don't pay me to say that, but that's the only thing I trust my life with. So, just fun fact. Um, have a great day, guys.